Julie knows in her bones as well, the people who get up every morning and go to work and bust their necks just to make an honest living deserve something, someone to fight on their side, to give them an even shot, just, just a shot, so they don't get stiffed. Well, that's happened to too many workers for much too long. Fighting to make sure they have a fair shot is and no one's left behind. Julie has spent her life fighting for that vision, her entire professional career. And uh, as a civil rights lawyer and leader of the California State Labor Department, the biggest in the entire country, Julie spent two years representing workers, many without college degrees, many who didn't speak English, but who worked long, long hours of low pay and were just looking for a little bit of dignity. It's a little bit of dignity for themselves and their families. She's increased the minimum wage, cracked down on wage theft, Protected, protected traffic workers, established and enforced workplace safety standards, and so much more. The Department of Labor, she's led the effort to ensure jobs of high growth industries like semiconductor manufacturing, broadband, healthcare, and so much more, making sure they're good paying jobs, high quality jobs, and union jobs. Born in Wisconsin, she's a daughter of Chinese immigrants, a mom of a union worker, her mom was a union worker, and her dad was a small business owner. She went to law school and served the people of California. Julie is the American dream. She is with the American dream. Uh, 60 years ago, my mom came to the United States on a cargo ship because she couldn't afford a passenger ticket. Recently, she got a call from the President of the United States telling her that her daughter was gonna be nominated to be U.S. Labor Secretary. <laughs> in the transformative power of America. And I know the transformative power of a good job. I know because it was the kind of job that my mom got that had predictable hours, paid sick leave, health benefits, a secure income, and a pension when she retired. A union job that gave my parents a path to the middle class and gave our family the kind of breathing room that the president talks about. When the president talks about those who've been forgotten or invisible, I know what he means because I have spent my career fighting for them to be seen. So to all workers who are toiling in the shadows, to workers who are organizing for power and respect in the workplace, know that we see you, we stand with you, and we will fight for you. We can do a lot of good things. We have a shot to really do some really good things that are totally consistent with everything about what this country is about. And I'm just anxious to get to finish the job here. And so thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank all of you, and I wouldn't be standing here were it not for labor. Thank you all for all you've done for me, but much, much more importantly, all you've done for the country. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Hi everyone, George Stephanopoulos here. Thanks for checking out the ABC News YouTube channel. If you'd like to get more videos, show highlights, and watch live event coverage, click on the right over here to subscribe to our channel, and don't forget to download the ABC News app for breaking news alerts. Thanks for watching.